Hi, John. The um, the reaction of uh, the USG players on the pitch last week, quotes in the press, has that been used by the players amongst yourselves as a as a jilly up for for tomorrow night? Yeah, um, I think you can you can use whatever whatever motivation you need to for this game tomorrow. Everyone's different, but we've certainly all seen it. We certainly all know it's there and touch disrespectful if you want to say but um, no listen we're, we're ready and whatever motion motivation you need for tomorrow night you can use what you like but we just need to turn up and, and we will and in terms of the the atmosphere it's almost become a, a cliche at Ibrox about how important it is but it has been a really noticeable factor especially in the last four years is is that something that you know the players talk about themselves um, of course, after big nights in Europe, we talk about it. I think it's not just us. Not just us that talks about it. The whole, the whole country does. The whole UK talks about the the atmosphere at Ibrox, and all of Europe talks about it. So, um, not not only us, but we certainly need it again tomorrow night. Um, we're under no illusions. It'll be a, it'll be a tough night for us to to overcome the two the two nil deficit, which we only put ourselves in that position. So. But there's no reason. There's no reason why we can't with with that fan base behind us. Good afternoon, John. Uh, after a performance like last week and knowing what you need to do to put it right, is that something that the players <clears throat> will talk to each other about and get in amongst it in terms of the senior leadership group and say, look, we didn't do this. This is what we need to do on Tuesday night. <laughs> I wouldn't say the certain two or three players get in a group and say this is what we need to do. That comes from the manager and and everyone as a collective on the chain and pitch, but. Um, we certainly know what we need to go out and do tomorrow. It's a game like tomorrow night doesn't really need much talking about. We know what we need to do. We know where we went wrong last week. It obviously wasn't good enough, and and we feel it just as much as the fans do. We disappointed ourselves and we disappointed everyone else. So we know what's expected of us as, as Rangers players, um, and and we'll try and put it right tomorrow. Good afternoon, John. Thank I you. wondered what um, kind of advice and experience you've been able to give the new players that have come in considering your own position last year and, uh, and you've now come through that um, to become a fan's favourite. I wonder what kind of discussions and things you've had with them. Not much, really. Pl- players players are experienced enough to go through. We all go through tough tough patches in our career. I wouldn't even say any of the new players are going through a tough patch. We've played two, three games in the season. Um, to, to be writing anyone off now is ludicrous, so... Um, no, I just I just say there's not a need to be said to experienced professionals that that they, they've had one or two bad games. Like it becomes a problem when you have a bad six months maybe or <laughs> a bad season. But not after not after two or three games, you can't. You, there's absolutely no way on earth you can write, write someone off. Just any player for that matter in world football just because they've had a couple of bad games. Um, I don't think it takes me to to tell someone that. Hi, John. Is is it fair enough to call it a season defining game tomorrow night, given the the rewards financially and also the, the the attraction of being in the Champions League. Um, well, European wise, of course, our aim is massive to get into the Champions League. That's what we've wanted for a couple of seasons, and and um, going forward, this whole league campaign is gearing towards winning the league and, and qualifying automatically. So, no, of course, it's it's a it's a big moment for ourselves. We all want to be playing in the Champions League. The whole fan base, the whole club, everyone wants that. What what football player doesn't? But um, in terms of season the fan and it's it's completely different to the league campaign of course we want to win the league that's obviously that's what Rangers Football Club always aspires to do but we also want to play in the Champions League as well of course we do On a similar vein John will it be a, a feeling of regret a missed opportunity if you don't turn this around given how hard you've worked as a group over the last couple of seasons to be in this position for the coefficient to go up to be a couple of games away from the Champions League group stages yeah, of course, of course it will. If we don't get through, of course it'll be a, it'll be a disappointment for everyone. But we're not at that stage yet. We've got a game tomorrow to play. We're not we're not at the stage where we need to be thinking about it if we don't get through. That's absolutely not even on our minds. We're going into the game tomorrow to win and, and to win by more than two goals. So it's not even crossed our minds to be honest. So well, this time last year, um, you obviously suffered a red card in the in the qualifier, and it, believe it or not, it's the same referee. Um, <laughs> <Is it>? Yeah. <laughs> looking forward to that but how important is it that the lads keep their discipline in this game yeah it is it's massive I think we've actually done quite well in games at Ibrox where obviously when the fans are behind you like they always are and it is quite emotional for everyone it's hard not to get caught up in the 
because we're all fans at the end of the day as well. We're all fans, but we're players, so um, you do get emotional, and it's I think it's something we actually control quite well, really. Um, obviously, not myself in that game, obviously, but um, after that, we I think we've actually controlled that quite well. I think our discipline's been 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 decent, to be fair. So I'm, I'm sure it's something that we we will control. Just how big a boost is it for the squad to have Alfredo Morelos back available and fit because he's shown you know, in these big games he can be a talismanic player. Yeah, no, he's he's a big player for us, obviously buff. Um he was phenomenal last year and he has been for many years. So no big player for us as is as is a lot of players in the squad. Uh, but now looking forward to, to having him back and um I don't know, hopefully he brings some goals along with along with all the attacking players. Hi John, you you mentioned the reaction from the uh, Belgian camp post match and over the last few days. Do you get the impression that they think the job's already done? A wee bit, you could say that, yeah. Um but you know, they're coming to they're coming to a really tough place. I'm not sure they've really took that in mind yet where they're coming to. Um and what 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 a big venue it is. So but no, look, we're just raring to go. Just absolutely can't wait to get out there and, and um and put right what what where we disappointed ourselves last week. Hi John, what's the what's the confidence like in the in the dressing room given obviously what happened last week? Would you say that there's a kind of obviously there is a score to settle given given the two 0 defeat, but just how can I agree that the players buy that and what's the mood like? Uh, we were just more frustrated with ourselves to be honest. We didn't we obviously didn't come uh, perform to to the levels we know we we could and that that was the frustrating thing about a couple of weeks ago um, or last week sorry. But but yeah no we we know we're, we're a lot better than what we've shown on the night so uh, it's up to us to show that again tomorrow. Hi John, um, you spoke about um, Union trying to take, maybe not taking into um, account just what Ibrox can be like. Um, obviously seen that two or three times last year when um, you came back for, for being behind in the, the first leg. It seemed like the, the the big plan last year was to really try and get in the heads of positions. Could you can you can you call on that those experiences? Did you feel like Braga and Leipzig you got in their head early on at Ibrox? Um, I don't know whether in in the, in the head's the right thing, but we just try and try and use Ibrox to our strengths. Of course, it's a it's a phenomenal it's a phenomenal place to play play football. So now we just try and use that to our strength, and um, if the op- opposition can cope with it, great. And if not, then it's a benefit for us. John, you need to score goals tomorrow night without leaving yourselves open at the back. You, you're be involved in all areas of the park, given your position. How much do you re- do you relish having such an important role to play in such a big game? And how much does that bring out the best in you? No, I think it does. I think, I think, I always try and think of myself as a as a big game player and. Um, I try and thrive off the big games, the adrenaline, the the pressure on you. Um, I, I really like to think that that's where I, I'm at my best. So, um, no, I'm not, not going to lie, I absolutely can't wait and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow.